Hi Sagittarius, this is your reading for the 4th to the 10th of April. And if you are a cross watcher and you're an Aries, then uh, happy birthday. Also, Sagittarius, you are number one this week um, as you had the most views. Thank you very much. And you're really coming out of your little shell this is a beautiful reading you've got a wish coming true you've got the meters touch you're getting news and you're in the spotlight the sun and an other nine that the nine of um, cups is also wishes coming true so it is confirming the star so let's get starting that is a quick read um, of this week's reading Right, the Nine of Cups is the all-over energy, wishes and dreams or goals coming true. An end of emotional difficulties as you will be ecstatic uh, with happiness and new beginnings. Whoa, nice one. If you're wishing for love, then love could be coming in definitely. Um, also, um, remember this is a general reading for finance, uh, love, general and the seeing what energy is around you but you seem to be in a good face as your dreams or goals could be coming true at the beginning of the week and the overall energy the star means precisely that but the star also represents Aquarius so you could be meeting or dealing with an Aquarius you've also got the king of pentacles so that means Taurus 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 you could be dealing with a Taurus or you could be seeing a Taurus or you could even be doing business with Taurus because the King of Cups does mean or represent Taurus. And like the King of uh, Pentacles, um, it may also means you have to do research with regarding to a situation or a question at hand. Now, the King of Pentacles does research because he wants 99.9% .9 guarantee, although there aren't no guarantees in life, but he seeks a um, guarantee as um, firm as, or as firm as possible, um, or um, how do you say that, um, guaranteed as much as possible um, because he does not invest his emotions or his money lightly and not for something that won't most probably won't provide a return or rediment so if you are dealing with the tourist then uh, romantically then he will be giving it all giving his heart away because he's here to stay for long term because the pentacles also represent um, tangibility and durability and long term um, because uh, Taurus is also quite sensitive in, in, the, in the matter um, that he doesn't want to start all over again he's quite happy where he is once he thinks or she thinks they have found their soulmate in life whether it's in love or business now also you have in the end of the week on Friday you have the page of cups so there could be news coming in this news could be about a child or could come from a child it could be about child support for those that are single but even if you're married in certain countries you can get support from the government or municipalities like the tax office you can get a tax rebate when you are giving birth to a child definitely in america i know people want to um, even have their if they're pregnant they want their child to be born before the new year so they can get a tax return in every country it's totally different here in holland you can get child support if you've got a child you can get some kind of subsidy whether it's for toys schools clothes or food to maintain a child it is all in the interest of the welfare of a child so you could be getting double child support if you would have a page and a night or two pages or two nights because it represents young people
like uh, if it, you have a knight it could represent a study grant but this could also be a, a grant for private school something like that but news is definitely coming your way and I also feel it might have to do with love or something that you're passionate about perhaps you uh, have set up a new business from your hobby into a career and you could be getting uh, official papers or you could get official news definitely with regards to money perhaps if you want to buy a property to start a business this could be you and uh, getting a loan and your wishes coming true and the business is making money because it's something that the uh, clients or people want because you are in the spotlight as well because the sun is shining on you so there is definitely a heck of a positive reading here this is the um, card for moving home for going on holiday to a warm country some of you might be preparing to go on holiday at Easter. I'm not quite sure when it is Easter. Um, I'll just stop the video and check it. You might be going on holiday at Easter time and well that's not this week but you might be planning to. As Easter will fall on uh, Thursday, uh, sorry no not Thursday, um, Sunday uh, the 17th of April. It's quite late I believe but anyway so that could be you could be getting news because you might be going a week earlier uh, on, on holiday and this could be the school saying yes you can go on holiday and take the child we always take nowadays we have to ask so much and so many permissions it's crazy but anyway you could be going on holiday or moving home again that could be a birth you could be hearing of a birth this could be of a project this could be of a baby it could also be that uh, you find out that you're pregnant woohoo congratulations if that is your wish it's going to happen anyway you're in the spotlight so where there is a spotlight there is also illumination the spotlight means that you are being noticed whether it is at work whether it is in the romantic field or whether it is because of your business people are definitely seeing you wow also um what else um the, you could be going on to the next level uh, in relationships or in um, career this could be a pay rise or a promotion if you haven't got a job then you will be getting a job because the time is just fertile for new beginnings and as i said you're being noticed also um, in relationship you could be getting from going out you could be getting engaged or you can get married definitely positivity is all around you now i was going to do the finance with the general but it just didn't add up for um uh, april but you're definitely going to be okay in april if not better now we've also got the high priestess the high priestess with the star that means that um, your intuition is working overtime and you can feel it you know it intuitively that your wish is going to come true your hard work is also going to pay off because you've taken undertaken action and being being strategic in order to get your wish fulfilled it is also confirmed so play your cards close to your chest if you're getting um, if you're going for a promotion don't tell anybody until you have got the promotion also you could be very um, sensitive emotionally uh, and also intuitive or more empathic um, and be in tune especially with a partner definitely mm. and number two is all as normal uh, uh, partnering up or that you're in balance you are really in tune with what you're doing and what you want Sagittarius definitely also um, 
she's got her eyes closed so it also and she's got eye she's made eyes on her eyelids you will be able to see things that others won't you could be you 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 can look straight through people you are so in in tune with the cosmos and the divine and with emotions of other people so uh, use it to your advantage you do have several people in your reading like i said aquarius um, Lo um taurus and leo and uh, pisces so you are leaving pisces definitely in a good energy especially pisces again as Pisces represents the moon, also it could be a Cancer. You could be in tune with a Cancer. Talking about Pisces, it's going to be prominently Pisces because you've got the Page of Cups again. Again, remember to listen to your intuition. I think your heart will start beating a little faster as well because there's a lot of passion here, lots of passion with the sun and the high priestess and the two uh, two cards of uh, the page of cups remember that pigs can't fly that you need to do your research so stay with the program uh, don't uh, don't yeah when usually when you get drunk they say uh, pink pigs well pigs don't fly yet so keep both feet on the ground i don't know why i said drunk perhaps celebration because you've got the nine of cups that you could be celebrating for one reason or another because you could be finding out you're pregnant then you shouldn't be drinking at all you've got a lot of cups energy so yeah there will be something or some uh, something on offer for you so Sagittarius keep both feet on and definitely don't build castles in the sky unless they are realistic here you've got a castle or a mosque really so keep this uh, to your emotions and keep your emotions under control uh, play your cards close to your chest and only let on what you're busy with or what you're aiming for um, uh, when it happens but I think your heart is going to fa beat faster because you're doing something that you're passionate about and you're going for something that you definitely want. Again, you've got uh, so many cups. Um, you are literally spiritual this week. You will know. You, you know, when the saying goes, I can feel it by my water. You can literally feel it what is coming in and that your wish is going to come to fruition you're going to get what you want or you're going to get the results that you are wishing for in some situation or project also the queen of cups represents uh, scorpio so yes you have a pisces and a, a scorpio and you do have cancer because of the high priestess that, sorry about that that's Millie moaning or talking in her way so she the the Queen of Cups is represents love passion nurturing sensuality and sexuality so you might even feel more attractive because you are in the spotlight or that's why um, you wanted to get be noticed and you want to be attractive well in your own right you are attractive but the only the people um, will notice you that fall in love with you or that are uh, in awe of you and there could be more than one person around you that is in awe of you you'll definitely um, have caught the attention and uh, recognition from the outside world as well as from your family you might be nurturing uh, yourself now more than ever and noticing that you need to take care of yourself in order to uh, enhance okay to get what you want wow a realization brings us very very far but I also feel that you are more in tune with um, your yourself definitely you've got seven so seven means good luck seven also 
um, means that you're more than halfway there like I said you will get the results that you are wishing for luck is on your side you've been working hard you've been ambitious but keep the dreams this is the dream card or your goal keep it really um, sober and down to earth with both feet on the ground there is some also some kind of fantasy i feel that um you think you're going to you're going to you're literally reaching for the sky and you want to fly but you can't humans can't but figuratively you are going to fly once you get your goal Woo nice one whether it's getting pregnant or getting married or starting your own business or getting that promotion you see all the ladders well just go with the flow my darling and it will come to you you could be partnering up like i said you could be getting married or you could be partnering up in business because that here you've got the king of pentacles you i've also got a feeling you might be working with somebody that has experience hands on because this is the practical card so i can uh, relate to that um, and and say that um what i'm feeling so that's confirming my feeling that uh, somebody that has had experience and is mature or is also working with their hands or something hands on they have gained the experience and they know how to run a business and to start up a business wow this is a beautiful the lovers that could be a gemini as well also the and the lovers represent a soulmate so perhaps you've partnered up because you've finally found somebody that wants the same things as you and also because um it, uh, they have the same values as you and that's why that's made the click and that's why your business is going to do well that said we are going on to um, the oracle card for the week just to round it off and i'm using the um what you call it uh, the creativity deck and this one is sticking out so you're definitely getting rooted you've got red here a lot of red here also purple um yes you've got transformation here you've got cupid here it could be love or it could be passion that you both have for the same job or business um also play your cards close uh, you are also very intuitive you're in transformation and transition you are getting where you want to be awesome also i feel with this bit here uh, something is entwined this is the peacock feather and uh, the peacocks are uh, luxury and richness they represent that so i think yes you will come into luxury there is a face closing off and a new beginning you've got more than one new beginning as you've got your wish um that's a new beginning you've also got the 10 which is a new beginning and the nine is an ending and a new beginning Woohoo! you are definitely going up you're more than halfway there you've also got luck on your side now you've got this the card seed you've planted your seeds and they have grown and you will be harvesting boom because of these endings having the intention to grow like a seed and bloom is at the heart of the create creativity so you've put your heart in there and you're flourishing in what you are doing and this is going to pay off big time again you've got a six here 15 becomes a six so you've got double numbers here you've got this new beginning with the uh, high priestess usually you see two pillars um, and that is the divine giving you the doorway to a new beginning i just love this reading for you and you will succeed in what you do but maintain maintain uh, the soberness and yes you can have uh, dreams and goals but don't build castles in the sky okay keep it real and you receive abundance wow
you deserve it. My beautiful Sagis, take care, stay safe and be blessed. And if you're on the road, I know one of you is on the road and I hope you do have success. She's a reader and she's traveling around America, apparently um, going around fairs. So if you would like to see or meet Lynn from Tinker Taylor, uh, Tinker Tarot, sorry, then have a look on Facebook under uh, Tinker Tarot and you will be able to find where she is and you could be meeting her in real life. Have a beautiful day, take care, stay safe and be well, be blessed.